I'm Tara Oracle, and this is my Tara Slash Oracle reading for Maiden. Now, Maiden has a guy that she thinks she's the one, and she's got messages from God and messages from the angel and other tarot readings saying that he, uh, he feels the same way and he is the one, and I'm giving her a tarot reading for some reason, so I don't know. Okay, so this is a message for Maiden. If you think this is the one, and you're madly in love with this guy, and this guy is actually available, and you have not already, then you should probably let him know. Not let him know by just outright calling him and telling him, but let him know with some obvious clues, or spend a lot of time together, or arrange for you guys to meet up somewhere and hang out, and then make it really obvious that you're interested in him and see how it goes. I know you have this thing where you're talking about the God and the angels and uh, all these guidance things and getting multiple tarot readings on this and all that, but overall, I mean, it, it, I, I like God too, but at some point you got to do something in this world, so uh, I would take the initiative if he has not and find out uh, if he likes you or not and then continue on the relationship and let the caller cards fall where they may, um, having a very Neptune-like look at the world of relationship. It's almost like you have a Neptune-Venus conjunction or something to where, it's, I don't know, it's like you have this, you know, is he really all of that? Is he really going to be that big of a deal? I mean, you know, have you looked at his shortcomings before you try to jump into this and all of that? In addition, I think there's something you ain't telling me. Because if forces in between you are coming apart and an upside down happy trip in a boat, I think there's something that you're not telling me. Because this definitely tells me that there's some weird forces in between uh, you guys. It definitely tells me that something's going on over there to where he just wants a stable, average, boring family relationship. And he wants some balance in that. And he sees you as somebody who's uh, trying to bring in some love into the into the whole thing. So... I'm kind of wondering, is this guy already in a relationship? Or why haven't you given him the clues to move on and uh, to see if he's interested or not? Uh, I mean, part of it could be maybe you're not interested in finding out no. So uh, at some point, you just have to factor in that there may be a no coming when you show your interest. So just be aware of that. I had a, actually had a weird relationship with somebody who was interested in me for a long time. Like, what, like three months and she never told me, so I was just kind of chilling and hanging out with this person. I had no idea because I'm a guy and I'm stupid. So, uh, and then she finally said something, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa what? We're just buddies, you know? Uh, I don't really have any interest in all that. And then she didn't take that well at all. No, I mean, like, not at all. So that went to shit. I never saw her again, like, in my entire life, so... So I guess that's one of those things. You have to be prepared for a no. So just show your interest to this person. And you said in the note, too, that there was no way. So um, I'm just kind of wondering what's going on. There's something I don't know that you're not telling me. I don't know if you told the other tarot reader or what, but sums up. And my second piece of advice is, hey, if you think he's the one, go for it. Show him that you're interested. You know, you women are experts at making shit not so obvious. So... Uh, make it like non-obvious and non-over-the-top, but you know, kind of let them know that you're interested. So anyway, so here's the actual positions for all these tarot readings. It looks like that uh, what uh, you want is some type of person that has it all. You want somebody that's going to fulfill you like no man has fulfilled you before and, and, and give you all these things and not give you like literally like concrete things, but give you the things that you want out of a relationship. I think you're looking for a perfect relationship and you may have idealized this guy a little too much. Is he really going to give you that perfect relationship? Uh, what you need is some sort of a change. So it looks like that you've had some type of a pattern that is not a pattern that you want and you want some change. You want maybe a guy to spice it up or you want some change in your life to make it more interesting. I don't know, maybe your life is boring and just not all that interesting or maybe it's too exciting and you want somebody to settle down and uh, or have some of the security there or whatever, but it seems like you just want a lot of change right now. So uh, what you get, sorry, what you want is the guy to fulfill everything, but right now what you need is some change. So you need some change in order to uh, be happy at this point. So so how you're rolling along now is not going to satisfy you. It's not going to be the whole satiation, happy thing that you need. So what you need is some change. How you see the other person is like a, a, a love that's not realized yet. It's almost like that you have this person in mind that you want to love 
and all this stuff and you you know you're talking about the got messages from different angels and other spiritual things to where this person is the one and and you think he's the one but I'm just not sure why you haven't gone forward and either gotten rejected or had him accept so I, I think there's something else going on so if you want to tell me in the comments what's going on then they'll probably help a little bit so the forces in between you are coming apart and an upside down happy boat ride you know the happy boat ride in, in number six of soars is all about taking a journey and having somebody with you taking a journey across taking a journey that you haven't done before having somebody guide you through this journey and it kind of jives with all these things you're telling me about god and angels and all this stuff guiding through all this journey it seems to have turned itself on its head so i think maybe you have delayed it a little too long if you're interested you probably just want to it's just saying just come out the forces in between you're coming apart at this point uh the more that you think about this the more you get readings about this the more that you um you know have this running through your head the more likely it is not to work so i would just go and throw it out there and see what he says so again you women are experts at making it not over the top and, and giving some subtle clues and if it's not you know the clues aren't subtle enough then you give even more subtle clues and a little more obvious clues and finally the guy gets it because quite frankly we guys are stupid so anyway that's the forces in between you so again what he wants is a pretty fairly stable relationship i think he wants pretty much the nuclear family at this point where um he can have somebody to come home to and he can have somebody to you know have fun with and all this stuff and somebody just to complete him at this point uh, what he needs is a little more stability as far as balance so it looks like he does have something out of balance at this point and maybe another person could fix that maybe they don't but what he needs is uh, some type of balance and it could be from this relationship it could be something else but at this point uh, it just seems out of balance and again how he sees you as someone that's trying to bring up some love so a uh, little messenger on the horse riding through the uh, waves with a big cup in their hand and you know offering some love bringing some love so um, as far as number one is he interested in you I have, I have no freaking idea whatsoever you need to ask so uh, and number two will this work out Oh, I see from this that the longer you wait and the longer you uh, delay it is the more chance it's not going to work out because you have a bunch of things rolling around in your head and the more that they build up and build up and build up. Actually, if you look at pickup for, I mean, this is totally off topic. Well, not totally off topic, but it's kind of the same thing. If you look at pickup for guys, okay? So guys pick up 101. Guys, you walk into a bar and you see some attractive girls in a group and you want to talk to them and just get to know them, right? And you go out with them or whatever. So the longer you stand there and wait, the weirder you get. Because they'll notice you, and there's, you stand there staring at them. They're like, you know, what the, what the fuck's up with that guy? So they don't know what you're doing. So the longer you sit there and wait, the longer, the more chances you have to completely fail when you finally go talk to them. So if you have to run up the courage, get up the courage, and you don't have it, or blah 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 blah. So the, they, I mean, the average advice is if you see somebody that's interesting, kind of cute, you want to talk to them, just go up and talk to them, and don't wait, don't hesitate at all. Because the longer you wait, the more chances there are to fail, just because it just creeps. Because you get this whole, it comes, it becomes a whole big thing in your mind versus becoming, you know, kind of just no big deal. Just to go talk to this person instead of it becomes a whole big thing. Oh my God, I need to go in and talk to him. You know, it's my dress, but my breath smell okay? Am I dressed okay? Is my hair okay? All this other stuff. So that is my reading. Uh, if you hope you got something out of it.